That's a lot of shit. We learned how to do that. And now to this in our starting house, or game number three. From Canada and Germany, Canada and Canada High School, and their starter. Number 10, a senior guard, Kyle Cooper. And the fall of the senior guard, Xavier Sager. Number 20, a senior guard, Daniel Carter. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. What game three of eight? Camden Cavalry in the white, Wellingboro in the blue. All right, ready to tip off. Terry Collins along with Robert Page for our third game of the Paul Six 2017 Winter Classic. So far, Rob, we've had some good games, some, seen some talented players today. Yes, we have. As Camden Cavalier controls the tip. Already, we have a turnover, a steal by Willingboro. As Willingboro comes in today as the seventh seed, the Group Two uh, South Jersey sectional. And Cam McCavlick as the five seed in the South South Jersey Group A section. Basket missed by Willingboro, controlled by Cam McCavlick. Cam McCavlick comes in with a 14 and five record as Willingboro comes in with its 10 and nine record. Both look to have good games today. Bringing the ball up court. Good shot, basketball, Malik Hughes. Big Hughes, the 5'9 senior guard of Willingboro. Willingboro takes, scores the first basket of the game. Kevin okay, Catholic rotating the ball around. Good ball movement there by Camden Catholic for the wide open shot. That basket made by Dominic Dunn. 6'5", Junior. Mm -hmm. 
Good ball move, movement again by Cam McCaffrey as they get another three. That basket good by Ian McCarthy. Ian McCarthy, the 6'2 senior guard for Cam McCaffrey. So Cam McCaffrey, two for two from the three point line, takes a 6.2 lead over Willingboro here early in the first quarter. And that's a three point basket by Greg Thurman from Willingboro. He's a six foot junior guard. So as we see, both teams off the uh, good shooting behind the three-point line. That basket's good by number 25. Baba Ajik, 6'5", sophomore center. Last basket by Chris Slocum of Willingboro. Cam McCaffrey with an 8-7 lead. Almost halfway through this first quarter. Cameron Catholic is coming into today's game uh, ranked uh, eight South Jersey. She's coming off of uh, their second win over Camden. It's time they beat Camden at Camden. As he sinks both free throws, Camden Catholic takes a 9 7 lead here in the first quarter. Rebound controlled by Cameron Catholic as they look to bring the ball up and add to their two point lead. Good pass down inside. Traveling on Cameron Catholic. Traveling on Dominic Dunn. Both teams seeming to stick with their starters here early in the first quarter. A little under four minutes. Move McCann McCavlick to get it inside, miss the basket, but then get the rebound. Offensive putback. As they extend their lead 11 to 7. Looking to rotate the ball around. They take good take to the basket by number 13, Dominique Dunn, as he scores another basket. As we get a timeout from Willingboro, Dominique Dunn so far looking to be the leading scorer for Camden Catholic. And as we go to a timeout here, um, as we mentioned, Willingboro. Ram Truck Club and Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Spirit has over 400 vehicles to choose from and 70 trucks on the ground ready to roll today. Drive home a new 2017 Ram 1500 quad cab for as low as $149 per month. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram will get you driving today. Rates start at 0% with terms up to 84 months. For over 25 years, the Delaware Valley's smartest shoppers have been saving thousands on their new vehicle with the Spirit Saver price. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is right off I-95 at the base of the Commodore Barry Bridge. You're only minutes away. Go back. 
And we're back to action here where Willingboro has okay. the ball. Willingboro's down six points, 13 to seven, to Camden Catholic. Willingboro looking to get their offense going here. As we have an offensive foul on Willingboro, um, I believe that foul was on number 12, uh, Malik Hughes. Neither team has gone to their bench yet, I don't believe. Oh, that's another three-point basket by Cameron Catholic. I believe that's their third three-point basket today. Yes, that it is. They're, they're shooting hot right now. And that basket again by Dominique Dunn. I believe Dunn has about nine points now. As yeah, Dunn has eight. Eight? Okay, yes. as he's the leading scorer. And there's in retaliation, a three-point basket by... Running girl, Robert Augusto, the 5'9 senior guard. So we got some pretty good three-point shooting here early here in the first quarter. Both teams hitting a few three-point baskets. Yes, at this point, it looks like they're two of the better shooting teams here in South Jersey. At least out of the first two games we've seen, uh, these guys are shooting a pretty good percentage from beyond the arc. Right. As you mentioned, the first two games, uh, most both teams looked to control the inside where these two teams looking to get things established on the perimeter. So. <laughs> Cam McCaffrey looking to hold the ball for the final 15 seconds in the first quarter. That's with a 10, 16 to 10 lead, Cam McCaffrey. Good inside movement as well by Cam McCaffrey. And that basket by Dominique Dunn. So at the end of the first quarter, we have it so far, Rob. Um, Willingboro down 18 to 10. Cam McCaffrey establishing an early lead. Yep, and we will go to a commercial break, and we'll be right back with the start of the second quarter. specialize in dance cardio and different genres of music. We also specialize in nutrition, meal plans, and meal prep service. So if you're ready to get fit, come rock with us. Okay, here we go. We started the second quarter. Uh, Camden Catholic 18, Wellingboro 10. In a pretty decent uh, first quarter there. Both teams had a good shooting percentage. That basket. That basket by number 22, Nazim Chaves. So 18-12, Camden Catholic with a lead here early in the second quarter. Camden Catholic controls the ball, bringing the ball up, swinging it around, around the perimeter. Now taking the ball to the hole. Good take, but missed. Ball controlled by Willingboro. Willingboro now bringing the ball up. 
There's a turnover still by Camden Catholic as they break three on two. Good defense by Willingboro there on the block. Now Willingboro takes a oh. three-point shot, and they hit a three-point shot. That basket good by Robert Augusto. He's a 5'9 senior guard. Willingboro's hanging tough early in the game. And like we said earlier, both teams hitting um, good distance or a good amount from the perimeter with three-point shots. So. Opportunity for a steal from Willingboro. Ball controlled back by Camden Catholic. As we see good ball movement again by Camden Catholic as they get a two-point basket by number 25, Baba Ajike. Not exactly sure how to pronounce his last name. He has a few baskets here in the first half. The pace is picking up here in the second quarter. Both teams responding to baskets made by the other. Three-point shot missed by Cameron Catholic. One of gets the rebound. Both teams doing pretty well on the uh, defensive glass. Seems to be Rob. Yes, they are. Both teams. We've got a pretty good stalemate of a game here. Even though Camden Catholic is up three points, it looks like this game will stay uh, close throughout, down to their wire. Catholic with the steal, slowing the ball up. I think Cam Catholic wants to bring the ball up and try to get a good shot, good look at the basket here. Try to build on this three-point lead. Is that what, that's what they do best. As they turn the ball over right on cue, actually. I watched them play Camden on uh, Tuesday, I believe it was, and they controlled the game, they controlled the pace of the game. So Cam Catholic wants to do. They don't want to run up and down the floor, which you do slow it down and Get that easy shot, that backdoor play. And then every now and then they'll break one on you when they catch you sleeping and get a layup. And there's a turnover by Camden Catholic, uh, giving Willingborough another opportunity at cutting the lead from three to two or possibly even maybe tying this game. Uh, we've seen them hit a few three-point shots earlier, so... They're definitely capable of hitting a three-point shot, so. Willingboro with the miss, ball controlled on the defensive glass. Like I said, both teams are rebounding very well on the defensive end. Yeah, no second chance shots here. Not in this game so far. Deep three missed by Cam McCavlick. Ball pressed up by Willingboro. Good take to the basket, but a miss. Like you said, both teams have pretty much played to a stalemate as we're here at 2017 still. Camden Catholic with a three-point lead with just under three minutes in the second quarter. That was a good look at the basket missed by Camden Catholic. Running barrel number 12, uh, Malik Hughes brings the ball up. 
Vi har haft for til fra. Vi har So far, it hasn't been too many turnovers that we've seen in the first two games. Both teams pretty much taking uh, care of the ball pretty well. Oh, oh, I'll put the foul the other way. Way to draw the charge by, I believe that's number 11, Augusta. After we got off to a fast start, both teams have calmed down a little bit here now as far as scoring-wise. Right. And again, most teams want to, you know, find some uh, energy and play well, especially heading into these playoffs as both teams are set to make the playoffs. So there's a travel right there. Yeah, I'm not sure last time we've had a basket. It's best, definitely it's been, been a, a few while. minutes. It's so. been a while. And even still, actually, we just had our first basket. First basket was missed or a rare offensive rebound by Camden Catholic and a putback. So they take a five-point lead now. There's another offensive rebound by Cameron Catholic, and that's two consecutive on this same possession, actually. Two rebounds as a swing the ball again. There we go. Good take to the basket by number 13 for Cameron Catholic. And that's Dominic Dunn. He's played uh, very aggressive here early, Rob, as I believe he's the leading scorer uh, in the game, or at least for Cameron Catholic. Yeah, he has um, 10 points right now for Cameron Catholic. Okay, and Dunn will go to the free throw line looking to get his 11th and 12th point of the game. As he nails the first one, so Dunn has 11 here in the second quarter of play. And he gets his 12th point as he hits the second foul shot. So Cam the Catholics jumped out to his largest lead, I believe, here in the first half at 24-17. Willenberg looking to keep it close. Another defensive rebound by Camden Catholic as they look to build on the lead as we're just under one minute to play here in the second quarter. Bounds off Willingboro. Camden Catholic ball still. 14 seconds left here. Looking to build on their seven point lead. And then we have another turnover. That turnover by Camden Catholic. Willingboro ball. Willingboro has 12.9 seconds. Opportunity to cut this lead and maybe build some momentum going into the, to the half. We have under 10 seconds. Gusto controls the ball. Number three now has the ball. Smoke him. Willingboro's got to get a shot up. And they miss a three-point attempt at the buzzer. So there we have it. Uh, our first half of play comes to an end. Where we have Willingboro down. Uh, Camden Catholic leading 24-17 to against Willingboro. Battle of two yep. playoff ten, uh, teams. And we'll be right back at the start of the third quarter. Let's 
Just follow them up. Spirit at Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Spirit has over 400 vehicles to choose from and 70 trucks on the ground ready to roll today. Drive home a new 2017 Ram 1500 quad cab for as low as $149 per month. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram will get you driving today. Rates start at 0% with terms up to 84 months. For over 25 years, the Delaware Valley's smartest shoppers have been saving thousands on their new vehicle with the Spirit Saver price. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is right off I-95 at the base of the Commodore Barry Bridge. You're only minutes away. Online 24-7 at SpiritChryslerDodgeJeep.com. Spirit, we're selling excitement. Spirit. Hi, my name is Megan Hunter. I'm the owner and director at Groove Dance Fitness Training. We specialize in dance cardio and different genres of music. We also specialize in nutrition, meal plans, and meal prep service. So if you're ready to get fit, come rock with us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. About to start the third quarter. With Camden Catholic up 24 to 17 over Willingboro. Rob, that seemed to be one of the more controlled games that we've seen uh, so far today. Uh, not too many turnovers. Um, definitely some turnovers, but both teams were able to limit their turnovers. Actually, both teams were able to hit some outside shots, which we haven't seen a whole lot of today. So. No, no, we haven't. Uh, this is a, is a real good control basketball game. Uh, fundamentally sound between both teams, running their sets, getting out on the fast break, a couple of turnovers, some high percentage three-point shooting. So we'll see what the second half has in store for us. Again, <clears throat> after the inbounds. That's a three point shot and a miss. And again, Rob, we've seen both teams pretty much rebound the well, rebound yes. the ball well on the defensive end. Yes, rebounding well. Uh, looks like right now to start the first two minutes out of this third quarter, teams are they're cold. Yeah, not a lot of second chance points here. Right? See who can break the ice first. <laughs> 
And William Brown breaks the ice with the first score of the second half. And there's a basket and the foul there. Good looking shot by number three, uh, Chris Slocum. With the basket and the foul as he looks to go to the line and complete the three point play. Try to cut the lead to four here. And Slocum hits the foul shot. Makes it 24-20, Camden Catholic lead. Camden Catholic with an early substitution. Now, as you mentioned earlier, Rob, um, Camden Catholic is the number eight team, ranked team in South Jersey as they're looking to uh, clinch the Olympic national title uh, this Tuesday against Woodrow Wilson. If they can win that game, they will win division title. Who made that? Who made that shot? I wanted to see. I wanted to believe it was 13, but I'm not sure. Got a Catholic with the rebound, and here we go out on the fast break. That basket good by 13, done. with a good look inside actually got an offensive rebound and was not able to put it back in so there's another rare opportunity on the offensive glass by Willingboro not able to capitalize for the opportunity to cut the lead by to six stopping the play foul on the play foul called on Willingboro There's a three-point shot by number 23. Feliciano. <laughs> That's three-point basket by Feliciano. Another three-point attempt by Feliciano. Oh, we have a timeout. Well, going to this timeout, Kevin Catholic has maintained their lead here in the third quarter. To see what happens after both teams get their strategies together and come back out for the second half of this third quarter to try to either build a bigger lead, Kevin Catholic, or cut this lead down for Willingboro. We haven't seen much of a lead here, but we can slightly feel maybe Kevin Catholic starting to separate themselves. As, like you said, they build the biggest lead of the game at nine points. Willingboro looking to swing the ball around. Good take to the basket by Willingboro. That basket by number 22, Nazim Chavis, as he cuts the lead to seven.
Oh, good ball moving by Catholic. Good pass down low. Basket and the foul. That's good by number 23 from Canton Catholic. Feliciano. Feliciano scores the basket and gets fouled. Looking to complete the three-point play. So 12 point lead right here by Winslow. Now actually cut to a 10 point lead. That 12 point lead was the biggest, the biggest lead uh, of the game for Camden Catholic. Now Willingboro cuts it to 10 points. As Camden Catholic looks to continue to separate itself in this third quarter where we're just under three minutes to go in the third. That was an offensive foul right there on Camden Catholic. As Willingboro will inbound the ball down 10. Wow. That was a carry. Willingboro just bringing the ball up. Yeah, turnovers are starting to build up now. Yes, they are. Very careless play on, yep. on that one. Turnovers are building up, but they're building a the lead off of it. Uh, Kevin Catholic is. As they pound it inside, if they lose the ball, Kevin Catholic. And there's a trip they missed. Was able to maintain possession despite falling. There's a three point attempt, short defensive rebound by Camden Catholic. Take to the hole. Well, well, number three, I believe that's Slocum. Chris Slocum for the basket that cuts the lead to eight as we're approaching just one minute left here in the third quarter. Had a pretty good game here. Willingboro is able to create another turn over here. Willingboro trying to build some momentum going into the fourth quarter. We have 56 seconds left here in the third. And Willingboro an opportunity to cut the lead to either six or five. That's 36 to 28, 56.4 seconds left. In the third quarter, Cam the Cavs look up with Willingboro. Pass is good by Willingboro as they cut the lead to six. 
We'll see if Camden Catholic will play for one shot with 36 seconds left in the quarter. This Willingboro team is pretty feisty. They don't they don't go away. Yeah, they, despite being down 12, they've cut the lead back down to six. And as you said, they play with energy and playing hard still. And uh, it shows uh, down to six again. That ball goes in and out for Cameron Catholic. And at the end of the third quarter, we have Cameron Catholic 36. So it looks like we have a making of a good one. Here. 30. And we will go to a commercial. Truck Club and Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Spirit has over 400 vehicles to choose from and 70 trucks on the ground ready to roll today. Drive home a new 2017 Ram 1500 quad cab for as low as $149 per month. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram will get you driving today. Rates start at 0% with terms up to 84 months. For over 25 years, the Delaware Valley's smartest shoppers have been saving thousands on their new vehicle with the Spirit Saver price. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is right off I-95 and the base of the Commodore Barry Bridge. You're only minutes away. Online 24-7 at Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep.com. Spirit, we're selling excitement. Spirit. All right, we're back here at Palmer 6 High School for the Palmer 6 2017 Winter Classic Blues High School Basketball Showcase with Willingboro trailing Camden Catholic 36-30. There we go with the action, the fourth quarter. And again, um, Willingboro looking to cut this lead. Uh, deficit being down 12, their biggest deficit. And like you said earlier, they're scrapping, they're playing tough, and they're keeping this game close. They haven't allowed Catholic to pull too far ahead. And we have another drive by number 12 on the basket from Willingboro as they cut the lead to four. So Willingboro continues to keep this momentum going as they taking that 12 point lead and now uh, 12 point deficit and now cut it to four. And you see some continued good play by running ball on defense. Ball knocked out of bounds. Still be Cam the Catholic ball. Good ball movement by Catholic to get another basket by Dunn. Dominic Dunn on the basket. Dominic Dunn's a soft of a junior returning next year for Camden Catholic. He's a real solid, sound player. And there's another basket by Willingboro. Willingboro continues to match Catholic's intensity. Another basket by 23, Feliciano, as he hits his another three-point basket. Feliciano scores again on a three-point basket. Another travel on the uh, play by Willingboro as they force, are forced into a turnover. Six minutes left in this game, and we, we have a seven-point lead. So 34-41 here with just under six minutes left in the fourth quarter.
Willingboro again. Cam McCaffrey done on the basket again. That's good by number 13, Dunn, as he looks to be the leading scorer in this game so far. Just under 5.30 left. He has done with 18 points so far in the game. I believe, Rob, he's the leading scorer in this game, correct? Yes. Yeah. Good defensive rebound by Dunn as he controls the uh, rebound. Side basket by number 25, Baba Ajike, I believe his name is. Number 25 from Cameron Catholic as he scores again. He's been having a pretty good game here as well. So <clears throat> Willenberg look, looking to get a good shot on his possession. And they're down by 11, the second time they've been down by double digits today. That shot looked to be deflected. Yes, it was, and that ball's out of balance to Willingboro as it was deflected off of Camden Catholic. Camden Catholic has maintained a lead uh, pretty much throughout this game. It's kind of been an up and down score. Uh, Willingboro at one point had cut the lead from 12 all the way down to four. Now Camden Catholic with a steal actually able to score again to push that lead to 13 points now. Good pass. Willingboro on the basket cuts the lead back down to 11. And we're right about the four minute mark here in the fourth. This third game of the... So just under four minutes here to play um, on our third game of the Paul Six Winter Classic. One brothers came to Cabot, two teams that are heading to the to their uh, sectional state tournament for South Jersey. <clears throat> Both teams playing pretty well here, despite Willingboro being down 11. Again, Willingboro's headed to uh, to the group two tournament as the number seven seed, and they'll play Pleasantville. Which I saw Pleasantville last weekend play Atlantic City. They're a very feisty team. That Willingboro Pleasantville game is going to be a good game. Okay. And what was the outcome of that game, Pleasantville and Atlantic City? Uh, Atlantic City won by 20. Okay. But it was tough all the way to the last five minutes, six minutes of the game. There's a basket by number 25 as he gets the basket and the foul. And again, he's played a, a, a pretty good game for Cam the Catholic here. I believe he's probably the second leading scorer on the team. Yeah, 16 points going for a 17th point at the line. As he gets the basket along with the foul. Camden Catholic looks to be heading into the playoffs with some momentum as they'll be the number five seed playing Pingree, which is the number 12 seed, and the non-public South A tournament. So, Yes, Camden Catholic is going in with some momentum. I mean, they have big wins over Camden, who uh, was projected to really look real good this season with the team that they had came coming back. Canada suffered four losses, uh, four tough losses. 
Uh, they've lost to um, Canada Catholic, Bishop Hughes. They lost to Canada Catholic twice, Bishop Hughes, and then Shipley last Saturday, which was a hell of a game. Um, and then they also got uh, St. Augustine today, Camden Us, and St. Anthony's next Saturday. So, and Rob, this. Let me ask you, Rob. Um, potentially, Camden Kevin looks to maybe have a possibility of playing the number one seed, St. Augustine. Yes, yes, they do. Yes. Um, and that, uh, that state tournament uh, semifinal. Um, right. How do you think that matchup will play out, St. Augustine versus Camden Catholic? Well, it depends on if, if Camden Catholic can control the ball. If they can, if they can control the ball, um, they can play with St. Augustine. But if they can't control the ball and let St. Augustine run up and down the floor, um, I don't see them winning that game. I mean, it will be tougher. I mean, they're a very well-coached team. So is St. Augustine. St. Augustine has uh, more af athletes. And a bench, so, and then they got Justin Mutz, so, got to cap because they have a Justin Mutz. Okay, and like I said, that'll be a potential matchup because they're going to also be looking at maybe playing a tough Notre Dame team in that second round. Yes. Also, so, a lot of good potential matchups here coming up in the uh, state playoffs. Looking forward to it. Timeout. Timeout. Canada Catholic. And we will go to a timeout. This is It's All About Sports. We'll be back shortly. Um, Paul Six. Winner Classic. Where we have Camden Catholic leading Willingboro, 51 to 36. Camden Catholics finally able to start pulling away in this game as they take a 15-point lead, which is their biggest lead of the game. Um, Willingboro was able to keep it close for the most part of that second half, actually at one point cutting that lead to two points. So we'll see how the rest of this game plays out. Maybe yeah, as William, yeah, as Willingboro has picked up the pressure now. They're scrambling all over with this little press. They're, mess they're trapping all over the court. Would have been nice to see them start doing that a little earlier in the fourth yes. quarter. Yes. P probably would have had a chance to make it an even better game. I mean, Streeter, Streeter with the basket. They played a good game, but like I said, I mean, somewhere around that when they were down by six points, if they would have started right. pressing then. They may have gotten an opportunity yes. to actually t uh, tie the game or take the lead possibly. So, I mean, down 15, 16 points and starting to press is kind of, kind of a non-factor now, especially under two minutes to go. So, With a minute and 20 seconds left in the game, Canada Catholic 55, Willingboro 37. I'll tell you what, Terry, that Olympic Conference, man, for South Jersey has been pretty tough. You got Canada Catholic, you got Cherokee, you got Lenape, you got Camden, you got Washington Township. They all play each other, man, and it's tough. And when you're in a conference like that, it, it grooms you very well for the playoffs yes. because you kind of beat up on each other, but you get so much experience and opportunity to play, you know, some strong teams that come playoff time, it prepares you pretty well. So I don't think uh, it's much any of those teams will be able to see that they haven't seen during throughout the course of the year. So look for a lot of those Olympic conference teams to make uh, noise come playoff time.
And we're about we're at a minute to go, and we have Camden Catholic with a 55-39 lead. And again, this is the third game, and like I said, we've seen some good action today. Uh, earlier, Woodbury defeated Florence um, in our first game, and in our second game, we had Winslow defeating Woodstown. Um, all those teams are actually headed to the playoffs. Woodbury led by its sophomore star, Aaron Estrada. And their star player, Jazir Noel, was injured and sat out the second, third, and fourth quarter. Uh, we also seen Winslow have a very good team effort. Was able to get a double-digit win against Woodstown. Uh, Winslow being the eighth seed heading to the playoffs and Woodstown being the five seed heading to the playoffs. And here today... In our third game, we had Camden Catholic, who's looking to defeat Willingboro, and which both teams will be entering into the playoffs. So, a lot of action here today from uh, teams headed to the playoffs. Uh, kind of a preview of what things we may see um, in the state tournament coming up. Yes, state tournament starts on February 28th, or February 27th, I believe. Wow, that was a hold that didn't go. Yes, February 27th, the tournament starts. That basket by number 22 from Camden Catholic. And 22, his name is Kevin Lynch. No, nah, Rob uh -huh. McCoy. Rob McCoy, okay. Rob McCoy on that basket. And Camden Catholic gets a rebound, and they'll hold the ball for the last six seconds. And now we have it, the final buzzer with our final today. Camden Catholic 57, Willingboro 42. Okay, right now uh, that will end our broadcast until the Camden St. Augustine prep game, which starts at 3 o'clock. The next game up, though, is Penn Salkin and Middle Township. But from It's All About Sports, we'll be back at 2.45. To get ready for the big show, the Camden versus St. Augustine Prep. Thank you. Hi, my name is Megan Hunter. I'm the owner and director at Groove Dance Fitness Training. We specialize in dance cardio and different genres of music. We also specialize in nutrition, meal plans, and meal prep service. So if you're ready to get fit, come rock with us.